All right, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to factory reset, also known as a hard reset, your Apple iPad Air 4th Gen. All right, so there's really two ways to factory reset uh, most Apple devices. One is by going through the settings and finding reset, and the other is with the buttons, so that in case if you have a password and you don't know it, you can still perform the factory reset uh, by doing the hard reset with the button. So I'm going to be showing how you how to do both methods in this video. Really quick, let's go ahead and do the first method. So for the hard reset through the settings, you'll go to settings. You will go to general here on the side. And all the way towards the bottom, it says transfer or reset iPad. So you will select that. And then down here, we're going to select where it says erase all content and settings. So this is going to erase everything on your iPad. Make sure that you back up anything if you can and anything that you don't want deleted because uh, once you do this, it will be completely erased back to its factory condition. Once you're ready, hit continue. It's going to ask you for your password and then it's going to ask you to confirm by hitting erase iPad and then the reset process will begin. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and show you the second method to do the hard reset. So in case you have a password and you don't know it, or if your iPad is now disabled because of entering the password in wrong too many times, this will work as well. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to connect your iPad to a either a Mac or a Windows PC with uh, iTunes or Apple Music. Okay, go ahead and connect it. I'm going to be connecting it to this MacBook that I have over here. Okay, we're going to go ahead and press volume up, volume down and press and hold the power button until the iPad shuts off. Once the screen shuts off, we're gonna let go of the power button really quickly and press and hold volume down and the power lock button. All right, so let's go ahead and do it now. Volume up, volume down, press and hold power lock button. Once it shuts off, we're gonna let go and press and hold volume down and lock button. There you go, now we're gonna let go and press and hold volume down and lock button and continue holding it. All right, so you're gonna get this message here on your computer or Mac. Uh, if you're on your Mac, it's gonna be on your Finder. Uh, it's just gonna show up iPad over here on the side and you're gonna get this message on, if you're using a PC with Windows, it's gonna be through iMusic or iTunes. Um, and then here you're gonna select restore option, okay? Uh, it's gonna give you another message here to confirm. Uh, that everything will be erased on your iPad back to factory condition. So if you could back up anything that you want to keep, make sure you do that. Once you're ready, hit restore and update. It's going to download the software. All right, so there you go. It is preparing the iPad now for restore. As you can see, the Apple logo is showing up here again. Now it's going to show a loading bar. And then once it does, we just have to wait for the loading bar to completely load up all the way. Yep, there you go. It should take maybe about a minute or two, maybe a little bit more uh, for it to completely load up. And then we'll continue recording. So as you can see, it's uh, it's been removing the software, uh, installing the new software, uh, now restoring the iPad firmware. So all this is going on while uh, the bar is loading and it is almost complete. So we got this message here on the Mac. Your iPad has been restored to factory settings and is restarting. Please leave your iPad connected. It will appear in the sidebar. So we have to leave it connected. So now one more loading bar. We have to wait for this one to finish loading up. And then the iPad will boot up and it will be completely erased back to factory condition. Okay, so the loading bar just finished. And as you can see, the iPad is at the initial setup screen here. Here, all you have to do is uh, go ahead and set up your iPad. Uh, so once you see this, you can go ahead and disconnect and then go ahead and just choose your language and country region. Uh, and then finish getting your iPad set up so that you can start using it normally again now that it has been completely factory reset. All right, everyone, so that is how you completely factory reset your Apple iPad Air 4th Gen, also known as a hard reset. Um, hope this video helped you out. If it did, give it a like so we can get this video out to more people and help them out as well with their tech needs. So that's all I got for this video. I'll see you in the next one. And as always, peace.